looking at a gorgeous, beautiful, original Con 12B Caprine Bell trumpet. Look at that. Beautiful. This is an original from 1948 and it was billed and is billed as a professional trumpet. This is a pro trumpet, sold as a pro trumpet. And a, it is a small bore trumpet, uh, but it has a big boy sound, as you're going to find out. Especially, it has, I guess it has something to do with this bell. It's pretty interesting how it flares out and you do get a big sound on it. Um, but the reason I'm mentioning that part of it is if you don't have a lot of extra wind, like I seem to have a lot of extra wind, you can um, get a lot of efficiency on this and sound like you're really blowing through a large bore horn when, you, when you're really not. So um, I believe this bore, I have to go back and double check it. I believe it's a 0.422, I believe. Uh, it might be the 438, but I'll go back and double check and I'll put it in the description. So it is a small bore horn with a big boy sound. And um, it's just beautiful. It has a lot of um, style scrolling and um, on the bell you can see some of it here so in the in reflection maybe not see, there we go get it up there we can see and as you know this is a b-flat trumpet um, i've been experimenting with horns i'm trying to make my frankenstein trumpet you saw what i did with the shoki and um, so that didn't quite work out and now this one here um, you know my v raptor is a 468 and this is a 422 uh, there's such a difference that I wasn't able to match up the, the slides to be able to really test it out. Although, uh, just playing on this one, I know that this could be something special. Uh, the other thing is, this is an original from 1948, and I hate to tear it all apart and mix match it, you know, with the V Raptor, because then I think it would be hard to get it back together and, and still sell it, you know, as an original like it is now. So I've decided to go ahead and just let this one go. Uh, in a minute, you're going to hear that this horn can do it all. Uh, it really can. So I'm going to play a lovely ballad from Doc Severinsen's MacArthur Park, the one that I've already recorded. And um, to my surprise, on that slow ballad part that happens near the beginning of the piece, I sound like ten times better on this than I did on the V Raptor. You, I'm not going to put the uh, my uh, music video on there, but if you want to go check it out, you can. This one gets a better sound. It doesn't spread. It gets a darker, warmer sound. And, you know, I'm I'm recording on just some stuff at home, you know, not in a big studio like I was with the MacArthur Park. So um, go figure, right? I mean, how could I sound better on this Con 12B uh, just at home? And I couldn't sound better <laughs> on the V Raptor in the studio. So uh, you're going to hear that. So it, it'll do it all. So that's, uh, I played a nice, lovely ballad starting down low on low A. You're going to hear that. And you're also going to hear, well, let's let. Let's let you listen to it right now. Go ahead and listen to me play this Con 12B on uh, Doc Severinsen's MacArthur Park, just a little bit at the intro. Beautiful horn. Beautiful. Almost seen pinks in there. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, for you classical only guys, um, I just went ahead and threw a little bit of the Hummel at the very last part, just a little bit, and to show you that this horn will move around, the valves are good, the slides are good. Um, the valve slides good. Probably needs a little bit of that um, 
slide a mixed cream on it. I mean, it could be a little bit faster. Valve's good, good compression. All the slides are um, are working working order, and uh, it's almost a flawless condition. There there is some a little bit of you know lacquer coming off as as you can see, just a little bit. But from about two feet away, it just looks like a beautiful brand new horn, especially with this valve. It's, it's just um, I'm I'm pretty enthralled with it. So I'm not going to turn this into my Frankenstein horn and tear it apart and try to match it up with the V-Rapper. I have a feeling that it's just not going to work because of the difference in uh, bore sizes. I wish I could take this bell off and put it on the V-Raptor. I think that might do the trick, but then if it didn't, I had to get it back. See, look, there's nothing wrong with this. Now, if I had to put it back, there's going to be some solder marks or something. So um, I've decided to go ahead and let this one go. And um, just like the Shilka, you know, I've gotten two horns that are what I consider relatively rare. When's the last time you've seen a Con 12B Caprine model like this, Pro, all original? Um, just like when I got that Shilky B6, the Bill Chase model, you know, just for kicks, I've been looking just to see if I can find another one. There's not another one that's come up um, in over a month, you know, since I sold that one. And I guess I just got lucky twice in a row now. Here's, here's a deal for you. If you want a gorgeous professional horn, uh, that plays better than more, most horns today. I mean, if, if you don't want to go spend 2500 or 3000 for a Bach, um, same for a Yamaha, because that's what they go for. Um, if, or, and then you get all the way up to um, um, Shoki and some of the other ones that are even more expensive. I think Stom V, the, the VR2 Raptors, are way over four grand. And just the Harrelson trumpets I've seen, they seem to be up around 5000 So uh, if you've been looking at a better horn, you want to move up, or you're uh, um, someone that doesn't have a lot of extra wind and you would like to sound like you do, you can on this one because it is a small bore horn, but it does have that big boy sound because of this Caprine bell. It's a collector's item. You're going to hear that it sounds well. Um, yeah, go ahead and take a listen to me on that Hummel. You'll just hear me do a little, just a little ditty there at the beginning and you'll see that it plays well. So go ahead and take a listen. Okay, so you're back, you heard the Hummel, you now heard that slow ballad. And uh, the last thing I want to do, I just want to show you that this does have a couple high notes and I'm not going to play along with anything. I'm just, just me and the mic and you're going to hear the Con 12B in action on some high notes. Now I'm really blowing out some loud sound. So you're going to notice that this bell doesn't crack. I think they build it as a bell that can't crack a note. So um, I don't know if that's really true, but you're, you're going to hear me push some power on some of these higher notes and it actually gets a lovely sound. So go ahead and check out the high notes on the Con 12B. And the Con 12B Pro Horn does have a few high notes in it. Uh, Con touted this Caprian Bell as non-crackable. You couldn't split a note on it. I don't know if that's true or not, but once you're on the note and you do push it, push the gas pedal down, it, it doesn't spread, I'll tell you that much. There you have it. 
beautiful, beautiful Kerprine Bell. Wow. Something else. Uh, someone actually bought this horn brand new in 48 and was playing it, uh, probably playing it on gigs and everything. And it's just kind of interesting to think about the, um, the history of this horn. And that, that person, whoever got this horn, likely is probably not with us anymore. Um, but still, it's just kind of interesting to, to think about history like that. That someone went out to the store and got this in 1948 and probably used it in a lot of pro gigs somewhere. And look how it has survived all this time. Just beautiful. So I have an amazing horn. You've heard that it sounds great. Um, you get a lot more bang for your buck when it comes to the breathing part because it is a smaller bore horn, yet it has a sound that's bigger than uh, most Bach and Yamaha trumpets. Um, uh, the configuration or however they work this horn, it does come out with a bigger sound and it is a rare collector's item. Uh, you, you're just not gonna find a Con 12B in this kind of condition in fact, um, I don't think that you're going to find a Con 12B um, for the next um, foreseeable future, um, unless someone gives, you know, someone has a, uh, one in their collection, they're just going to give it up. So um, I would encourage you to to now take action and do yourself a favor and get the horn that you've been wanting to get. But you don't have to spend three grand uh, for a great horn. Like it seems like almost every horn you want to get these days is um, over three grand. Not this one. It's a collector's item, probably worth um, double what I'm selling for it um, in a few years down the road. So Con 12B, B-flat trumpet, Caprian Bell, and I'm Kurt Thompson. I'll put a link down in the description, and I hope you've seen enough of it. I'll probably take some pictures of it too. Uh, beautiful horn. Just uh, trying to get you a good idea of it. There we go. Beautiful horn, the Con 12B, Kurt Thompson, on a beautiful July summer day. Look at this. Beautiful out here. It's about, what is it, about 95 degrees? But it doesn't feel like it. I'm in the shade. It feels great. And uh, anyway, hit me up. You'll see the link uh, down below if you want to ask more questions. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.